Welcome to Miss Nancy's Virtual Storytime. Are you ready to get started with our color song? Here we go. What are we going to create today? Here's our first color. Red, red is the color I see. If you are wearing red, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your red and then sit down. Okay, what's gonna be next? Purple. Purple, purple is the color I see. If you are wearing purple, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your purple and then sit down. Here's our next color. Green. Green, green is the color I see. If you are wearing green, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your green and then sit down. Are you ready for this one? How many of you are wearing this color? Pink, pink is the color I see. If you are wearing pink, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your pink and then sit down. Here's orange. Orange, orange is the color I see. If you are wearing orange, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your orange and then sit down. Two more colors. Here's a nice bright one. Yellow, yellow is the color I see. If you are wearing yellow, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your yellow and then sit down. Here's our last one. Blue. Blue, blue is the color I see. If you are wearing blue, then show it to me. Stand up and turn around. Show me your blue and then sit down. Well, look at that. A very colorful neighborhood. Zachary Zebra did not like buttons or snaps or sleeves or zillions and zillions of zippers, but he did like underwear. His best friend, Orpho the orangutan, also loved underwear. And every year, the two of them went to the world's greatest grassland underwear fair. And they bought lots and lots of underwear. They bought underwear with stripes. They bought underwear with smiley faces, squares and palm trees and bananas and polka dots and fish and underwear with underwear on it. And when they were all done purchasing their underwear, they would gather it all up and head back home, where they would do all kinds of crazy things like wear all their underwear at the same time, any place they wanted to. But not everybody liked underwear. Bismarck the Buffalo did not think underwear was fun. He refused to like underwear. He was a very sad buffalo. He didn't smile or laugh or tell silly jokes. 
It was kind of a sad, sad story. He thought underwear was useless. But his friend Igor thought underwear was fun. Oh, buffaloes don't need to have fun, said Bismarck. Sure they do, said Igor. Everybody needs to have fun, Bismarck said. Oh, can you, can you run faster in underwear? Is it better than mud holes? Can you eat underwear? No, underwear is useless, said Bismarck. And he just got grumpier and grumpier. All oh, his friends all felt kind of sorry for Bismarck. It was a bit of a tragedy, you know, to be clever, but not happy. Mm. Then Zachary came up with an idea. And he went over to Bismarck and he said, you know, I bet you can't laugh. If you say underwear 10 times, I won't laugh, said Bismarck. I'll try it, and I won't have fun, and I won't tell silly jokes. I won't, I won't, I won't. Underwear. See, I'm not laughing. Underwear. Oops. Underwear. that are sad and lonely. And best of all, Bismarck the buffalo loves underwear. The end. One day the wash was on the line, just blowing in the breeze. A great colorful snake came as happy as you please. He looked to see the laundry just flapping to and fro and thought it looked delicious, like ice cream cookie dough. How could he reach that laundry? For it was up so very high. Well, he wasn't going to just give up. <laughs> I'll try and try and try. So the snake slithered up the pole, for he was very strong, and ate each item off the line. It took him all day. to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye. Make a smile and a wink an eye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye, till next time. Today for craft time, we're going to be making paper figures. A link for the project will be in the description. The items that you will need for this project are crayons, colored pencils, scissors, the paper pages, and paper clips that I like to use to help secure the outfits. So I suggest you just color your figures and their clothing and then cut them out. If you need help, ask an adult. And once you have them cut out, then you can dress your figures. I often use paper clips to help secure them, like I did with the outfits that I made earlier today. And you have a couple of choices, so have fun.